Now at any given time, during the resting potential, our concentration on the outside is less than on the inside. So let's say our outside is 0.003 molar, and on the inside it's 0.135 molar. So how would we find the cell voltage due to the uh, potassium ions? Well, we use the Nernst equation. What this equation says is our cell voltage at any given concentration is equal to our standard cell voltage, but this guy is zero. We just said that the cell voltage of this reaction and this reaction are equal but opposite. So when you add them, this guy goes to zero. That means our cell voltage is just simply this whole guy. Where R is our gas constant, T is our temperature, N is the moles of electrons, F is Faraday's constant, and Q is our uh, expression. Now, let's look at Q first. What is Q? Well, Q is the concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactants, right? And our products, right, is this guy. It's 0.03 molar. Our 0.003 molar, sorry. And this guy is 0.135 molar. So our Q is 0.003 over 0.135. The M's cancel out. Now, our T is our temperature of our body. It's not 25 degrees Celsius, it's 37 degrees Celsius. So we add 37 to 273 and we, and we get 310. So it's 310 right here. This is our gas constant, it's just a constant, 8.314, our Faraday's constant. So what is N? N is the moles of electrons produced per potassium or a mole of potassium. So notice that our mole here is 1. It's a ratio of 1 to 1. That means we have 1 mole of electrons, so number 1 goes for N. We plug these guys into the calculator. Notice that uh, natural log of a number smaller than 1 gives you a negative number, so the negatives become a positive, and this is our final uh, cell voltage, 0 0.102 volts. So, then we, add, then we do the same exact thing for calcium, for sodium, and for chloride, add all the guys up, and we should get our final resting electrical potential in the cell. Now, I want to talk more about the meaning of this number. What is meant by this number? Remember, we have the electrochemical gradient of our cell. And this is the gradient due to the concentration of ions and due to charge. So it's the chemical gradient and electrical gradient, or voltage gradient. And these guys are opposite of each other. In other words, notice that our potassium ion there is a larger concentration on the inside than outside. And that means these guys will tend to move down their chemical gradient, right? Because there are more of these guys on the outside. So equilibrium will want to establish, and these guys we want to move to the outside, down their chemical gradient. Now, electrical gradient is the opposite of that. Because electrons travel this way. Electrons will want to travel to the place where there is more positive charge. That means it's opposite. Now, what this number means is that when our electrical gradient and our chemical gradient equal to this number, when they're both this number, that means equilibrium will be established between the potassium ions. And the, and the same number of potassium ions will be going in as they will be coming out, right? So the rates will equal. And that's what this number means. So actually, our electrical potential should be negative of this because they're opposite of each other. They have the same magnitude but different signs. So our electrical potential for potassium is negative 0.102 volts.